अन अकेडमी लेट्स ट्रैक इट हेलो पाथ फाइंडर एक्सपीरियंस आई दिनेश कौशिक वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन आवर अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर यूर सी सेट प्रिपरेशन माई डियर फ्रॉम लास्ट थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स यू पी एस सी हैज मेड इट वेरी क्लियर दैट दे आर डिवोटिंग देयर टाइम टू सेट सी सेट पेपर सो दे एक्सपेक्ट द सेम थिंग फ्रॉम यू गाइज ऑल्सो सो देर आर सो मेनी डिजर्विंग कैंडिडेट्स हु आर स्कोरिंग हंड्रेड एंड टेन वन ट्वेंटी प्लस मार्क्स इन जी एस बट ड्यू टू सी सेट दे आर नॉट एबल टू क्वालिफाई प्रिलिम्स सो इफ यू आर ऑल्सो वन ऑफ दैम देन देर इज ए गुड न्यूज फॉर यू वी आर गोइंग टू लॉन्च आवर फ्रेश बैच सो एनरोलमेंट्स आर ऑन फॉर दोज बैचेस यू कैन you can contact on any of the number on the screen or you can click on the link to register register for the same so let us discuss what we are going to discuss in this one thing csat cannot make you an is but it can stop you as i told you in the beginning also it has happened with so many deserving candidates so i am going to show you the marks of one of the student you can see GS score is 120 1.78 but in C set 49.18 only so and i don't want this thing to happen to any of you so we are going to launch our batches what we are going to discuss in these batches so this is the complete syllabus so there are basically three areas that is basic numeracy di and ds this is one area another area is logical reasoning and third is reading comprehension so all these sections will be taken by me that is dinesh koshik and uh, the topics under these heads are chain rule time work and pipe average mixtures and allegation fourth is number system lcm hcf in the next slide i am going to tell you the importance of these areas so from which area how many questions we have got so this is the trend analysis from 2011 till 2023 this is the performance of these three areas basic numeracy plus di and ds general mental ability and reading comprehension so what you can observe that from 2020 onwards well, we can say that from covid onwards we can expect somewhat consistency in the pattern of the uh, pattern of the exam earlier there was too much fluctuation so reading comprehension we were getting 32 32 questions 32 26 31 like that but from 2020 onwards what is the pattern here there is a bit consistency in the number of questions there is a significant increase in the number of questions asked from the basic numeracy di and ds area you can see almost 50% of the questions are coming from this area then Read, uh, then the logical uh, ability or you can say logical reasoning so number of questions has reduced and in these questions also especially if i talk about 23 and 22 paper it is not only the number of questions which were which was reduced but in these questions also upsc asked questions uh, asked the concepts of basic numeracy like this year there was a question from calendars that if today is sunday then which day of the week will be after 10 to the power 10 days so the more inclination of this question was towards the number system we have to find what will be the remainder when 10 to the power 10 is divided by 7 so it was more of number system question not the uh, calendar one and you can see the number of questions from reading comprehension 25 27 27 27, 27. so this is the latest pattern so in reading comprehension also what is what pattern we are observing earlier there used to be big passages and based upon the passages there used to be three or four questions but these days they are focusing upon small passages containing one question each so this year there were 27 questions but number of passages was 27 25 so out of 25 passages only 27 questions were there so we can see that they are focusing slightly on the speed part also many aspirant they said that paper was difficult as well as lengthier one so here reading speed also plays some important role my dear now let me discuss the topic wise analysis numbers 
from numbers uh, we can see that earlier there was not that much focus on number system but from 2008-18 onwards you can see that especially 19 then 20 16 then 9 10 and 20 this year 20 questions were asked from number system so this is the most important area the list of the topics that i have shared in this slide this is the most important part of our c set this is the decreasing order of the importance so if i talk about the basic numeracy it is number system then permutation combination percentage simple equation and average these are the five most important areas upon which we have to focus upon so in our classes we are going to give we are going to have dedicated sessions on these areas number system will be the special point of attraction or the main focus point and along with that we are going to cover the other parts also in the next slide these are those areas which are not that frequently asked in upsc you can see the total overall performance of these chapters but anyway nobody knows what is in the mind of upsc they may focus on these areas also so don't try to predict the unpredictable so we are going to devote time to all these areas so our course will be now we will be talking about the structure of the course what we are going to cover so let me write here duration of the course so this will be approximate there will be approximately 24 to 25 sessions 24 to 25 sessions of 3 hours each 3 hours at the rate 3 hours per session we are going to cover the entire syllabus entire syllabus will be covered in which we are going to talk about the basic numeracy plus di plus ds this is one area next area general mental ability or you can say logical reasoning and third part reading comprehension as i told you that we are going to cover the entire syllabus in this much time what about your class classes uh, frequency in a class so frequency of the class there will be six days a week class will be there six days per week that is from monday to saturday as per the latest information we are we are going to conduct six classes per week so there will be 24 to 25 sessions now in this we are going to cover we you will be having classroom assignments classroom assignments we will be classroom assignments they will be covering all the pyqs also all the pyqs will also be discussed in the class so from 2011 till 2023 we are going to discuss the pyqs also in the class then you will be having additional supplement additional practice material additional practice material will also be provided to you now i think that's it so this is the information so the main focus will be on concept building because upsc is not focusing too much focusing on the calculation part so they are more focusing on the concept part it is the language of the question which students are struggling to understand but the calculations anyway are very easy so we will be developing uh, we will try to develop these reading skills with uh, in you guys so that you can understand the question thoroughly and you can answer it correctly we will be focusing upon the shortcuts and then we will be focusing upon the option elimination also these techniques will also be dealt in the class so that we can be a part of your success journey so if you want to enroll then you can click on the link that is given in the description and inquire about the upcoming batch
so let me give you some more details about the batch <coughs> we are going to cover basic to advanced level so class test and detailed discussion of the PYQs will also be dealt in the class only the batch starts at our unacademy physical center that is the offline center at old Rajendra Nagar uh, there will be ample practice sessions in the class so it will be basically concept building practicing doubt session and then testing all the four areas we are going to work upon thousand plus questions uh, top on C set topic wise recorded videos at our unacademy app will be there and mentorship will also be provided to you guys okay so <coughs> those serious students all those serious students who don't want to risk their attempt they are most welcome so please join as soon as possible and hope that you guys will be getting a ticket to means a seaside will not be a hurdle in your journey thank you jai hind an academy let's crack it